You ever feel like the background character in your own life? <sighs> Sup, it's Hallie, and welcome to MC Club. Oh, I'm gonna click here. Apparently this is using some pre-existing, uh... Persistent data, because I didn't have to adjust my settings. And even when I deleted first one, it didn't let me, like, restart the mod fully. So I don't know what's up with that. This is a template that, uh, Gansta made, and it's using that, and whatever. Basically, this, mo this mod, uh... The close full of MCs, I guess? I don't really know what to expect. It's only a demo, so I guess we'll see how it's going. Ah, uh, it's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on my games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. God, I forgot how much of a loser original MC is. Huh. That's weird. Why do I have the feeling I'm waiting for something? Like, something's supposed to happen right now. Hmm. I look around, but I'm the only one here. So it's just me, looking at clubs, and deciding to go with the anime club. Yep, that's the club for me. The anime club. Now I'm being ridiculous. According to the flyer, the anime club is in room 103. I head for the... Ow! Ow! What the? Characters added successfully. They can't remove their play president roles, what that said? Assigning role to MC1. Alright. Did they just assign the president role to every MC? <laughs> And now where was I? Right, off to the literature club. I've always had a thing for literature. I've been reading since before I could talk. Books, poetry, scripts, anything I could get my hands on. I'm even planning to get a major in literature. Honestly, this club was a match made in heaven. I can't wait to get in there and really dig into it like, or with like-minded peers. Full of anticipation, I open the door. Hello? I'm here for the literature club. I look around, but the room seems deserted. Hmm. Maybe I have the wrong place. I call again, just to be safe. Hello, new potential club member here. Anyone? Ah, shouted someone. Oh, here comes someone. Ah! Not what I was expecting. But if he's not going to make a good first impression, then I guess it's on me. It's no punctuation. Uh, hi, I'm Hallie. I'm here to join the Literature Club. What? The Literature Club. You know, books, poetry, playwriting, ring a bell. Screw the Literature Club! I I lost my best friend! And Yuri, she went and... And, and then Monica, she... But then, it was all okay. And we were all happy together. And then we weren't. But then we were And then... Are you okay there, buddy? Then it didn't matter anyway. Because none of it was real. It was all a lie! Everything is a lie! But this, this right now is a lie! Who even are you? What is this place? Is this hell? Oh crap, I'm in hell! Why am I in hell? What did I do to deserve this? Derealization, I think. Uh, yeah. Derealization value reset. Okay. Launched chapter zero again. What did I do to... Huh. You feeling better? Ah! Uh, weirdly enough, yes! Great. Uh, so I'm looking to join the literature club. Do you have a sign-up sheet? Or should I just talk to the president? Did you ignore everything I just said? Or everything just I said? We're not real! This, this is all a game! Everything I've ever known about reality is a lie! You can try to be a little more sensitive. So is this some sort of Indoctrination, yeah, indoctrination tactic, or... Hello, is someone in here? Said some... 
I let out a sigh of relief. Hopefully the girl coming in will be able to resolve this. Oh, it's Femsy. Hi, you're in the literature club, right? I saw you're open for members and I'm here to join. Okay, I know this is gonna sound really crazy, but... But do you guys know we're characters in a video game? This is going to be my whole day, isn't it? You know what? Never mind. Forget I said anything. No, no, I believe you. You, you do. Oh, thank goodness. I was just in class and then suddenly everyone was gone. The whole world turned flat and this bouncy music started playing out of nowhere. And the girls, I remember all these horrible things happening, or things happened to them. Except they didn't actually, or maybe they did. It all feels really real and really fake at the same time and I... I thought I was having a mental breakdown or something. She's definitely having a mental breakdown or something. That's exactly what happened to me. Except, you said girls, right? Yes, they're my best friends. Well, I met three of them a week ago. Or I think it was, maybe it was two weeks. But we're in the same club together, in this room actually. So then, uh, do the names Yuri, Monica, and Natsuki sound familiar? You know them too? Yeah, but... I joined the Lurch Club last week and I don't remember seeing you here. What? My of the friends they already invited me, so I tagged along and... What? But Sayori is my childhood friend. She invited me to join the Lurch Club. What? How is that possible? I would have known if she had another childhood friend in the Lurch Club. Excuse me? Who is Sayori? Can I talk to her about joining? Or literally anyone other than you two? Or then you two? Yo, Seo, Mani, who, who's this now? You? Not? Any of you ladies here? Said someone. It's Chad, I'm saying, and here comes someone else, strutting in like he owns the place. Maybe he's the president? Yo, are you guys new members? Sweet. I was just thinking we could totally use some new members. My girls are gonna be so hyped. Well, at least he's not. And with this whole reality of the video game thing going on, It'll be even cooler. I mean, who hasn't wanted to live in a video game? And there's like no pressure for school or a job. Because I'm a main character, so I got total plot armor. <laughs> Isn't that radical? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of complete lunatics. That's all, um, what you're saying is... You know the world's a video game too? Yeah, that's what I just said. And you're not concerned about that? I mean, the universe says we know it is a lie! Everything we've ever aspired to be or do is worth nothing! We're all just lines of code in some digital engine! Controlled by some unseen program or writing our every word! No punctuation. Which brings the very concept of free will into question! And you're just... okay with that? Should I not be? So I guess it beats panicking! Hey, wait! I'm still trying to figure this out! How is it we're both childhood friends with Sayori? And Dan joined the Literature Club last week! But haven't met or even heard of each other! Unless this all has something to do with it being a video game! Which means... It still doesn't make any sense! Yo, you're both childhood friends with Sayori too. That's so rad. She got me to join the Literature Club last week and it's been great. I got to talk to cute girls, write poems, solve all their emotional problems, Smooched them a whole lot of times. And we all hung out at the festival. Except sometimes when we don't. Like that time we were all reincarnated into a fantasy world. Did you know you slayed a dragon once? Man, that was awesome. She straight up gutted that thing. Dragons? There are dragons now? Okay, are you all in on this gag? Because it's really not funny. And I'm ready to move on now. I brought a book, you know. The thing you talk about in the literature club? It's not a gag, it's serious! We're still trying to figure this all out so you could be a little more sensitive. That's what I said. I mean, what do we even do with all this information? Why did this all happen just now? What does it all mean? Beats me, dude, but a friend of Sayo is a friend of mine. By the way, you know where my girls are at? I've been all over the school and I can't find them anywhere. I mean, who ever heard of a dating game with only one cute girl? Cute! You gotta have at least two chicks, right? That's the only way to have a harem or a love triangle. 
both of which are the black backbone of the romantic comedy genre. Unless this is like an otome game, and the cute girl has to pick between the two guys. In which case you should totally pick. Great. Now what? Mateo, you son of a bitch, said someone. Where the fuck are you? Yo, I knew it. Another cute girl. Back off, creep. I don't have time for this. She marched right on past him. Tell me where he is right now. <laughs> he? Mateo, where's Mateo? That scumbag prisoner of the literature club. When I find him, he's going to wish he'd never been born. President of the Literature Club? Do you mean Monica? What? No! Who the fuck is Monica? The President of the Literature Club. The one we're all members of. What are you even talking about? I don't know any of you people. The only ones in the Literature Club are me, Satori, Yuri, and Natsuko. And that son of a bitch, Mateo. I'm confused. Yo, are you from a gender bent dating game? Uh, a what? Like, where the boys are all girls and the girls are all boys? Statement on question. So Mateo is a dude version of Monica. And then Satori is Sayori, Yuri is Yuri, and Natsuko is Natsuki. Man, this is getting into some sick of you stuff. Look, I don't have the time for this. If you know we're in a game, then you've got to help me find Mateo. That way I can beat his face in and make him get us out of here. Oh, that's a great idea. Or, well, I don't know about Mateo. But Monica, she knew too, right? My memory's a little fuzzy about it, but she could probably fix this. Uh, totally she could. Except I couldn't find her in school. Maybe she went home. Uh, so there's no one here either. You mean? I was at a bookstore up the street when this all happened. The guys disappeared and I thought maybe they'd be here. I walked for about a half hour, but... I didn't see anyone on the way back to school. Hell, I don't think I heard a pin drop until I got here. Then that annoying music started playing out of nowhere. It does get a little grating, doesn't it? So that's it then? We're the only people left in the universe! All the girls, our teachers, our families! Just gone! Ah, uh, don't worry man, I'm sure we'll figure this out. At least you all seem like cool dudes and dudettes to hang with. Oh, that reminds me. I totally forgot to introduce myself. My bad, you've all forgotten to introduce yourselves. <laughs> the name is Allie. Stoked to meet you all. Okay, that does it. Now you're mocking me. Uh, what do you mean, dude? Don't play stupid. I'm sick of this screwing around. That's my... But that's my name. My name is Hallie. Uh, why do you both have my name? And also a girl's name. Girl's name? I mean, Hallie is clearly a girl's name. Actually, it seems like it could go both ways. Right. Back me up here. Well, I think so, but... That's mostly because Sally's my name. Dudes, that seals the deal. I had a hunch this whole time, but now I'm sure. We're like alternate versions of each other. That explains everything. The clubs and the gender brand are not remembering each other. Dudes, this is the raddest thing ever. Forget this, I'm done. I grab my backpack and swing it over my shoulder. If you don't want me to join, fine. But I'm not going to stand here and be mocked. I've wasted enough time already. Before I can leave, one of them rushes up to block the door. Hey, you can't go! We have to figure this out! Figure what out? Either you are all clinically insane, or you're a bunch of jerks. Whatever your issues are, I don't need any part of it. Please, don't go! She grabs my wrist, but drops it immediately. Beep, sorry! But I'm Hallie, right? We really need your help right now! I think you might be the key to figuring out what's going on. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you don't think the world is a video game, right? Of course not. Why would I? Then that's really strange, isn't it? You said you didn't know Sayori either. And you were going to join the club today. That means out of the five of us, you're the odd factor. So if we're going to understand anything about what's going on, I think you have to be here. The look she gives isn't the one I'd expect from a prankster or a maniac. She's really serious about this, isn't she? Would you please stay a little longer? Just until we figure out what to do. <sighs> I turn away from the door. Oh, I know. How about I make us some tea? Gary's tea set should still be in here. We can 
all sit down and talk this out. If we compare information, we should be able to find a solution. Does that sound good? Fine. Sounds great. He stepped away from the door. Actually, a drink would be great by, er, right now. I'm still kind of tired from a walk. Here, I'll go grab the water. Radical, just like the old times. I'll go get this, or set the table up. Other me, dude, help me out here. Sure thing. I shake my head. What have I gotten myself into? The guys arranged a few desks, arranged to form a table, while the girls poured everyone a hot cup of tea. I think there's a cup of an extra arrangement in there. It's a bit odd to keep a tea set in a classroom, but I'm not complaining. I mean, a cup of tea always helps you enjoy a good book. Not that I think anyone here has any interest in reading. No, this bunch wanted to sit here discussing their alternate realities. Uh, there were similarities between them. Sayori was depressed, Yuri was crazy, and Natsuki had issues with her dad. All of it was somehow Monica's fault, something about her becoming self-aware. But that was where things started branching off. One of them said that Monica had fixed everything out of guilt and deleted herself, only to be revived over and over again in slightly different timelines, each one trying to find a better outcome. Another only remembered what happened in glimmers. She could name specific events and details, even obscure things, but in her own words, she felt like they'd happened to someone else. That guy couldn't seem to remember anything bad happening, only little emotional problems that were easily fixed. He also seemed to have the wildest variations between stories. It turned out the Fighting Dragons timeline was one of the tamer scenarios. Wait, did they? Eh? They did forget the scene scenarios. And some of the scenarios. Scenarios. Yeah, you need it there. Made me consider bleaching my ears. Then there's that girl with the ponytail. Apparently, having the gender swap wasn't the only difference. Her clubmates all had slightly different takes on the same personalities, which led to some pretty gruesome outcomes. You need E and gruesome. Uh, there weren't many variations between her memories either. It was mostly one straight line of events. As for me, I'm surprised I've kept track of it all. I've spent the whole time reading the book I'd brought with me back when I believed this was a literature club. Silly me. I might say it was nice to have the extra reading time, but... We've been here for four hours! All the other clubs went home a long time ago. I'm surprised no one's kicked us out yet. Okay, I think I've got everything down. She passed around the notepad she'd been scribbling on to the others. If there's any mistakes, let me know. Yo, am I Hallie number three? Yes, because you were the third one to come in. Not to be a drag, but I think I should be Hallie number one, since I'm number one. Er, okay. I'll switch you and Hallie number one. She started crossing numbers out. You know this whole Hallie numbering thing is going to be really confusing. Why don't we come up with some alternate names for everyone? That way we can all keep track. Oh, that sounds fun. Let me think. She chewed thoughtfully on the end of her pen. Yuriko. I'll be Yuriko. So like Yuri, but longer. Ah, you're right. That, that wasn't intentional, I swear. I just remembered a character from Poor Pay Girls that I really liked. Hey, it's a cool name. Nice to meet you, Yuriko. What about you? What's your nickname? Uh, uh come back to me in a sec. I got one. Makara. That's a good one. What made you think of it? I got it from an anime. Wow, real creative there. Oh, I got it. But call me Suichi. You mean like Switch? Yeah, because my world's a Switch version of yours. Pretty clever, right? Are you sure your first name choice didn't come from an anime or a manga? And you didn't just change it to sound special? Of course not. I'm not that uncreate. Or a video game? Bullseye. Look, it doesn't matter what my first idea was. The nickname's Suiju now. Deal with it. And I'm Chad. Chad? Chad. Why Chad? Because I want to be called Chad. It's the best name for the best dude here. A little weird you want to use an English name, though. Uh, why? I mean, we're all Americans here. Is that a, a joke? Joke? What joke? Wait, he's serious? Chad, you do know we're in Japan, right? As in, this is a Japanese school? And we're all Japanese? What? Seriously? Dude, you're blowing my mind. Does that mean I'm Japanese too? How could you not know that? I don't know, I just thought... Uh... 
it was too late for him. His only recourse was to divert attention. Hey, dude, what about you? You haven't picked a name yet. Huh? I'm not using a nickname. My name's Hallie, simple as that. Come on, dude, everyone else in the club's doing it. Now, wait a second. Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what I thought had been obvious. There is no way I'm joining this club. I came here for literature, and all you've been talking about is crazy stuff. The only reason I've stayed this long is because I wanted to finish reading. What is that book anyways? The Narrow Road to the Deep North and Other Travel Sketches. I held up the paperback I'd been reading this whole time. A well-read copy with snowy trees on the cover. It's a anthology of Matsuo Basho's prose with commentary on the Haiban er, style. The entire group stared at me like I'd started speaking backwards. Sigh. It's a collection of haikus from the Edo period. Still nothing. Sigh. Poetry. It's a poetry book. Dude, do you actually like that stuff? I know my girls are all in- girl is are all into it, but like... Nah, not my thing. Not mine either. My brain's hardwired for games more than poetry. Or more than poetry. I always had to throw them together at the last minute. Yeah, same with me. I don't know how the girls could stand to look at the garbage I'd hand in. <sighs> you must think we're pretty pathetic, right? Here we go. Oh, well, if I'm being honest. What, really? I seriously took you for the poet's type. It's not like I didn't try. I always came out bad with the Natsuki and Yuri and Sayori. They seemed to think I did really well, so I kept doing that. But I never liked anything I made. So I'd throw it away after the club was over. That way I'd never have to look at it again. Hey, don't worry about it. Makata gave her a reassuring pat on the back. Not everyone has to be good at everything. At least I tried, right? That's more than I ever did. Well, it's not enough for me. Sorry, but I don't think I'm going to be joining. Not that it hasn't been fun. It hasn't, no punctuation. But I don't have much interest in whatever this is. Thanks for the tea. And a conversation, I suppose. I stand up, ready to leave for good this time. Oh, come on, you can't run off on us. We're all in this mess together. No, you're in this mess together. I'm looking for a club to join. And this isn't it. <laughs> She's so flippant. Well, what if it was? Everyone looked at him with the same confusion I did. I can't believe I'm suggesting this, but... You like poetry, so how about we do that? We each write a poem at home, then bring it in to share with everyone. You mean like Mateo had us do? Suichi's face puckered in disgust. No thanks, I don't want to copy any idea from that jerk. I know, I don't want to do it either. But I can't think of any other literature type things to do. And we can't force him to stay, right? I'm right here. Well, I think it's a good idea. Even if I wasn't good at poetry before, I would like to get better. And poetry is a pretty common thread in all of our memories. Maybe it could trigger something. Well, if you're all that eager to read my poetry, then I guess I have no choice but to oblige. I just spell it out. I thought you said you didn't like poetry. Uh, sure, I don't like it, but I'm still awesome at it. Wait until you read my stuff. I made Harry Hope. Hirohiko Araki looked like an amateur. That's not a poet. Suichi had gone quiet. She stared into her cup, er, yeah, her teacup, like it had something to hide. If you don't want to do it, Suichi, you don't have to. Hey, who said I wasn't going to do it? Like I said, we're all in this together. If you guys are doing poems, then you bet I'll be doing them too. She took a swig from her cup. Well then, Hallie, that leaves you. Is that enough for you to come back tomorrow? They all look at me with expectant eyes. I don't know. Come on, can't you see we're trying here? Yeah, dude, say yes already. Please, we really need you here. What do you say, Hallie? Well, it's not exactly the club I was hoping for, but I'm defenseless against the promise of real literary discussion. I've wanted some place to share my cat passion for so long, and this might be my only chance. This can actually be one word. That is, if spending every day with these lunatics is the price I need to pay in order to discuss poetry. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, their eyes light up. Radical. Hooray! Phew! Not sure what we would have done with if you didn't agree. Probably hounded him until he did. Ignoring that. Hey, don't think this means I believe your whole video game thing. 
I still think you're all nuts, but I'll stick it out for now. Assuming that you've put some actual effort into your poems. I consider myself a literary connoisseur, so I'll know if you didn't try. <laughs> I'll take that as a challenge. Prepare to have your mind blown, dude. We'll see. For now, I really have to get home. It is getting pretty late. Are we sure it's safe to just head home? I mean, I can't imagine things getting any worse right now. And it's not like we can sleep here, not comfortably anyway. Not to mention how much trouble you'd get in for trying. So we'll head home, get some rest, and meet back here tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be able to come up with a plan for what to do once we've gotten some sleep. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. And don't forget your poems! Ah, oh, don't worry dude, we won't leave you hang. And a lurch. <laughs> not sure what that was, and I'm not going to question it either. Well then, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night, Hallie! Well, that certainly wasn't how I expected that to go. But, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Beggars are spelled with an A. At least I'm in the literature club now. As I make my way home, I think back over my new clubmates. Yuriko, Makata, Suichi, and of course, Chad. Could any of them give me the club experience I've wanted for so long? I had serious doubts. Still, there's only one way to know for sure. And that starts with writing a poem tonight. That's all for this demo. Feel free to play around with the poetry game. You'll return to the menu when finished. Thanks for playing. Oh! So we can, like, click the... Oh, hey, look. Uh, whenever you highlight a word, the person who likes it goes into their post. Well, that's really good for a mod like this because you would have, like, a frame of reference. Or probably a very good frame of reference for what words they like. I appreciate this version of the poem game already. Although it might just be part of the game against the template thing. Whatever, I guess that's going to do it for this one. So I guess we'll have to see what comes of this uh, mod in the future. Seems like it's got a pretty interesting premise so far. I like that the DMCs are from different mods and have different memories and things. And it cer certainly adds a different spin to it than it would have if it was literally just a bunch of MCs and their <laughs> nothing personalities or whatever. But yeah, we'll see where it goes. And that will do it for now, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time with more Doki Doki. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.